In the murky waters of South Florida lives a strange looking fish. If you took a shark and a stingray and kind of melded the two of them together and put a saw on their head, that's a sawfish. They swim like a shark, but they have a hedge trimmer for a nose. This saw-like appendage is called a rostrum. And you look at this really strange rostrum with these teeth on the side, and it's just otherworldly. And you think, wow, that, that must be an ancient fish. That's just so weird. Oh, big sawfish, big sawfish. This is the small tooth sawfish. OK, oh, don't wrap, don't wrap. Sawfish are just really cool group of fishes, really strange fishes. They're a small group of batoids, so they're related to stingrays and skates. The sawfish are really big animals too, 20 feet or so in length. They're incredible creatures. They're probably on the same level of an ecosystem as a shark. They do feed on some of the same prey items, so they're a top level predator. But overfishing and habitat loss has led to the animal's drastic decline. The small tooth sawfish was the first native marine fish listed on the U.S. endangered species list. The only place they're left in the United States is Southwest Florida. They're just so cool. I mean, how sad would it be to lose something that is just that cool? Scientists are studying the animals to help them survive into the future. Here, little one. Is this is an animal we really knew very, very little about and we're starting from square one. Can sawfish populations recover? Can these prehistoric looking animals survive in a highly developed environment? Mm -hmm.